this annexation is being done to accommodate the Hasidic community of Kiris Joel. And for years, John Allegro, along with United Monroe, has been opposed to the proposed annexation by the village of Kiris Joel. Allegro says he's hoping the two bills which just passed the assembly will prevent this annexation from happening. So this is a government action that's in the accommodation of a religion. I think they need to learn the First Amendment. According to Assemblyman Skoufis, who sponsored the bills, he says the first one would allow the county to review the annexations and offer a recommendation. If they disapprove, a supermajority vote by the town of Monroe and KJ would be needed to override the disapproval. So it adds another layer of scrutiny, of oversight, which for controversial annexations like these in Orange County, I think it's necessary. Skoufa says the second bill would require the DEC to examine environmental compliance records when choosing who is more appropriate to lead an environmental review of the project. There's no county review for something as significant as moving 500 acres from one municipality into another municipality. The village of Kiryas Joel is currently looking to annex more than 500 acres of land from the town of Monroe to accommodate their growing population. Officials with United Monroe say there hasn't been much transparency in the process. The two bills which passed the assembly on Monday are now headed to the Senate. The bills are in process. It's a top priority for me. Senator Larkin says he is confident both bills will pass. In Monroe, Jessica Chen, Time Warner Cable News.